us an absolutely marvelous dinner, Hazel. Well, thanks, Mr. Suddenly. Just too bad your wife wasn't here. Be sure and tell her how we missed her. We certainly did. How long is she going to be away at that health diet farm? Until she loses 15 pounds or gets tired of eating wheat German watercress, whichever comes first, I guess. <laughs> is that all she gets to eat? Not quite. If she does 30 push-ups before bedtime, she gets a bonus. A dry prune and a tablespoon of yogurt. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. How much weight has she lost? Lost? She's only been there four days. When I talked to her last night, she told me she had gained two pounds. I don't understand it. <laughs> well, that happens always at first. How would you know? Well, that's what happened to you, Mr. B, the last time you went on the diet. <laughs> I guess I better finish up the dishes. <laughs> How do you think the city elections will turn out, Mr. Sudley? Preston will win. As things stand now, that's the only winner I'd predict. And that's not much of a prediction because he's unopposed on the ballot. You mean I won't even get a chance to vote against that phony? Hazel, please. Now, I don't think Mr. Sudley's particularly interested in your political views. No, on the contrary, George, I'm very interested in what Hazel has to say. What's Preston done that's turned you so much against him? What's he done? He just rezoned the whole north section of the park. To make way for an electronics research corporation. Oh, sure. Instead of picnic grounds, we're going to have factories. And he's going to tear down them beautiful old oak trees. Oh, no. George, can't you stop them? Well, I don't... Stop? Am I to understand that you two are against the progress of this city? Well, I don't uh, really think they feel that way. Uh, uh, do you, Dorothy? <laughs> well, uh... Not exactly. <laughs> you see? We didn't let anybody know about the rezone until after it was done. Now, just a minute. I happen to believe that Councilman Preston is completely honest and thoroughly capable of representing the people of this community. And, in case you don't know it, I've supported him for years. You have? Yes, he has. Well, then I think you ought to stop and reconsider, Mr. Sudley, because the way I figure it, you're putting your money on the wrong man. Oh, brother, one of these days. Oh, calm down, George. It's a free country, and Hazel's entitled to her opinions, remember? Uh, Hazel, will you uh, come back here, please? Now, George. Dorothy, stay out of this. George, you promised me last night. All I promised was that I'd wait until this morning to talk to Hazel. Oh, that's why my ears was burning. I thought I was having a nightmare. <laughs> if I'd had my way about it, you'd stayed up all night reading the Book of Etiquette. Why? If you haven't heard, Hazel, politics is one subject that should never be debated with friends. Know that, but Mr. Sudley ain't my friend. He's yours. <laughs> He's a very important person, Hazel, and I don't see why you had to tell him all your objections to Preston. Oh, I didn't tell him all. I didn't even tell him the main one. And that is that Mr. Preston seems to think he's a ruler of the people, not his public servant. Ha! Huh. You're a great one to object to that. <laughs> well, if, if, if the people don't want that park rezoned, I don't know how he can get away with it. Well, he wouldn't be able to if enough people signed petitions objecting to it. But since no one has... Holy cow, a petition! Why didn't I think of that? But Hazel, he's right! It would be a complete waste of time because you couldn't get enough signatures to revoke his decision. We might, if we had enough help. Uh, there's the women's club and, and Hazel's uh, sunshine girls and, and, and her bowling team. Come on, Hazel, I'll help you write it. Yeah, Rosie, we'll be passing out Mimeo's petitions today so everybody can start getting signatures tomorrow morning. Well, uh, your corner will be a fourth and maple, okay? Oh, and Rosie, don't forget to phone the radio station right away and tell them to play trees. Yeah. <laughs> so long. <laughs> <laughs>